how to choose the right intensity and volume for a power training circuit. So today we talk about how to choose the right intensity and volume for a power training circuit, how the intensity and volume determines exercise selection, where it goes wrong most of the times when designing a power training circuit with regards to intensity and volume, and I give you some power training circuit programs or better an outline of the power training circuits. How to choose the right intensity for the power training circuit? Intensity is always a balancing act. So let's have a look at how we best select the intensity for a power training circuit. So the first step as always is look at your goal. What kind of power do you need for your sport? and or what kind of power do you want to develop with that power training circuit. So whether you want to develop the power development or the power endurance quality, power under fatigue, you need to determine that first before we look at the intensity in itself. So once you've determined what kind of power quality you need for your sport or within the, the training cycle you're planning for, you can design your training program. So what kind of power quality is it? Is it the plyometric power, the ballistic power, or the dynamic power? Yeah. So for the plyometric power or plyometric effort, we work with intensities of 0 to 20% of the 1RM. For the ballistic one, 20 to 50%, and for the dynamic effort, 50 to 70%. Not only does the determination of the effort shows you the intensity, it also shows you what kind of exercises to choose. For the plyometric effort, again, we use body weight or very light implements. For the ballistic effort, we use heavier medicine balls or dumbbells or barbells. And for the dynamic effort, we use barbells, resistant bands, machines can come into place, or also cables. So once you've determined the effort, there are multiple options you can do. So you can either choose for an option where you have one effort, so you choose purely for one effort, that might be the plyometric effort, or you choose for the ballistic effort or the dynamic effort, the idea is pretty clear. Another option is to combine two efforts, yeah? so you can combine efforts that are either next to each other when it comes to intensity, or you can have kind of a polarized option where you choose the lower intensity, the plyometric effort, combined with a dynamic effort. The third variation is obviously combining all three. So, what does that mean? Each option obviously has its own specific adaptations. So what about if the goal is power development or power endurance? We talked about that in previous videos, that you have the choice within a power training circuit to put your focus on power development or power endurance or power under fatigue is a different name for that. Well, it's a power training circuit. So whether you want to work on power development or power endurance, that doesn't have that much influence on exercise selection, but it has an influence on the density, which means the work to rest ratio, and also the volume, right? So how many reps and sets you're doing. It's not only reps, but it's also the time of the circuit. Let's look at that in more detail. If your goal is power development, so you truly want to develop power and choose the power training circuit, as a way to develop power. Then the density is lower, so a work to rest ratio of one to one, but probably even more one to two, one to three, one to four. Yeah, so for every second of work, you have one second. One second of rest in a one to one work to rest ratio, two seconds in a one to two, three seconds in a one to three, so the idea is clear. Yeah? Less work than rest power development. Plus the volume is a little bit lower, so we're talking about two to four sets with four to eight exercises. Why is that? We spoke about that in previous videos. If power development is the goal, the exertion level and the fatigue should be minimized. Option two, if the goal is power endurance or power under fatigue, the volume is higher. But not only the volume is higher, if we look at the density, the density is also higher. So that means a work to rest ratio of one to one, 
or maybe two to one. Yeah? So that means for every second of work, you have one second of rest in a one to one work to rest ratio. Or for every second, every two seconds of work, you have one second of rest. This, for example, are the typical Tabata, yeah? 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Yeah? That's a two to one work to rest ratio. But there are also other variations. So you can have 10 seconds on, five seconds rest. That is very, very short. So you need to be very conscious how to set it up. But you can also have 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. More than that, in my opinion, doesn't make much sense because then it's not really a power effort anymore. It becomes really more an endurance kind of thing. The reason for that it is uses a different energy system. So it's not the ATP CP system anymore or the A lactic system, then it becomes almost lactic. So which is then not really power. <laughs> Back to the topic. So if you want to develop your power endurance quality or power under fatigue, volume is higher, density is higher. So what does that mean? Three to six sets with six to 10 exercises is a framework you can work with. To wrap it up, how to choose the right intensity and how to choose the right volume for your power training circuit. Look at your goal. What kind of power quality do you want to develop? that is needed for your sport or that is needed within the training cycle that you've designed. What are the efforts that you want to work on? Plyometric, ballistic or dynamic that determines not only the intensity but also the exercise selection. Choose the intensities whether you want to have only one effort within that circuit, power training circuit or you want to combine two efforts or three efforts. And with regards to the volume you also you need to be conscious whether you want to have the goal of power development or power endurance, power under fatigue. If your goal is power development, then volume is lower, density is lower. If your goal is power endurance or power under fatigue, volume is higher and density is higher.